Hello, everyone. I want to take a minute and just talk to you about the literature matrix, uh, which is something that you guys will be working on in, really in the next few classes, because obviously you know that from looking at your compare and contrast with dissertations, that the literature, the research you do is important. And keeping up with that, continuing to do it, ensures that you have a good number, but you also have a good feel for what the literature is um, reporting, telling you about the problem that you are investigating in your dissertation. So I'm just going to, I'm really not talking about the matrix so much as how to put ref works into the matrix, okay? And I have... Uh, you can, let me back this up a second. This is the leadership matrix. This is one of my sources I have put in here from RefWorks. I have done a simple copy paste. Okay. I have, I'm going to go to RefWorks now. You can export into Excel from RefWorks, but it doesn't format well to an existing Excel document, particularly one as robust as the one that you are looking at here in the literature matrix, which has specifics that it's asking for here. And so um, you are certainly welcome to experiment with that, but I'm going to show you kind of an old school way, but I want you to be able to continue to use RefWorks um, as your library for your resources because of the robust nature of RefWorks in terms of being able to save the full text, generate the bibliographies, etc. Okay, so here we are in RefWorks, <clears throat> and I have um, a list. These are my, all my references. In the past few weeks, you have several folders that you've collected documents and research. You can go to your folders my case, I'll just choose the human libraries folders. <clears throat> and I'm going to simply, I could actually um, so select all on the page, but, um, and then create a bibliography. And you can, remember, choose Treveca's style here. And from here, you can copy to Word if you want. Um, but, sorry, this is taking so uh, long to generate. Well, yep, sometimes when you reload the page, it jumps in there. <clears throat> so you can... Copy Clem, the, this article, I'm mean, not article, it's actually a dissertation. I'm then going to go into that Excel. This is my source to, I'm just going to paste it here. I will want to click wrap, te wrap text. And um, you can, of course, if you're like me, I want to make it look exactly the same, which was Calibri, but you can make it, of course, like real Romans, um, just get it all looking normal here. <clears throat> Whoops, not red, but we'll go black. And anyway, this is just me that has to do this. <laughs> <clears throat> and then it's a simple matter of just adjusting over here. So by typing in, so we're going to have Clem. Whoops. CE, and over here we know it's 2021. The source type, there's a down arrow where you're going to click that down arrow and choose. This is not government data, um, organizational, multimedia. You might want to call it organizational, but it's a dissertation, so I would um, call it other. Peer reviewed, there's an option for a yes or a no. This is a dissertation, so it's not peer reviewed. It is qualitative, so once again, you're going to click that down arrow and choose qualitative um, here. 
And these key idea keywords, these are those themes that you used before. So here, put, put your themes. Um, just type that in here. Yeah, you know, use what you have already done. Um, in terms of formatting, these things always drive me crazy. So I want to get it put to the top. You know, that's just me. But now I have the leader leadership matrix is completed um, for tracking this. And you still have your uh, RefWorks, which is the option you know, to have the full text in here, to be as robust as you can, um, and using RefWorks in the cloud, etc., and accessing the content here. So that's the simple way to bring RefWorks into your Excel. Um, if you choose to just use this Excel, that's fine, but you know you don't have the links to it and you need to save it other places. But be sure you get your um, citation accurate when you put it in here so you can export it, uh, hopefully, into a list that's good. You'll notice when you use those down arrows that it's populating this field. So everything I've entered here is within my five years. And I have one out of these that is <clears throat> peer-reviewed, but the dissertation is not peer-reviewed. So in this case, we've talked about it just kind of briefly. The dissertations are really great sources, but the vast majority of your work is coming from peer-reviewed research. Okay, so um, let me know if you have questions. Not everything from your research in the last four weeks you'll want to put in here because after you have done your mind mapping exercises, you're more focused. After you've done the part about the quote, in week four, I think you have a, a better idea and you'll know that you don't want to include some of this content into your matrix, but you certainly can add it for week five, you know, bring in some of this in here and be your week five content. Okay, let me know if you have questions. Thanks, guys.